welcome back to my channel. I am Megan. Um, and today I have some Arteza stuff to show you. If you haven't seen, Arteza now has a line of pouring acrylic colors. And the description on the box, let me find it here for you. The description on the box says, um, high flow, water-based, non-toxic. So there's no, you know, silicone in it or anything. And um, I haven't tested the consistency yet. We'll do, do that in this video. But um, so I don't know if it's, you know, typical pouring or if it's just a high flow acrylic because um, I know a lot of uh, companies have high flow acrylics that aren't necessarily like pouring um, consistency the way we do pouring for the most part. Excuse me, but um, I'm really, really excited. One thing Arteza always does well is colors. I love their colors. They have um, some beautiful colors. So, and my one complaint that I've always had with Arteza that I've always said is that they don't sell enough colors individually. So maybe eventually they'll start you know, selling some individual colors. But for right now, it comes in a 32 color pack. Um, they include four whites, which is great, two blacks, they have some yellows, um, I'll insert a picture here of all the colors, but, um, some great colors, so I'm really excited to try those today. Now, today I'm not going to add any flow, any silicone or anything, I'm going to do it as is, um, and then, um, I'll do another video pretty soon where I will... Um, if the consistency isn't typical, then I'll add a little bit of water or whatever, and then some silicone um, for sure to see if we can get some cells with it by adding silicone. Now, one thing I wanted to show you too, because they, oof, they sent me, which I think is really great. They sent me some canvases to do these on, and then they sent some tempera colors. Now, this isn't something you'd want to use for pouring or any, you know, artwork that you're planning on selling or anything because um, tempera colors are washable, which means they'll reactivate with water and they're not, um, you know, they're not going to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, be lifelong um, pieces of artwork. But um, anyway, uh, I wanted to show you for any of you that have like kids or nieces or nephews or have, um, want to do something with kids, with art, um, if you do some classes or anything, if you do pouring classes and you wanted to find a way to do some kids things, this is really great. So this was a pour I did um, about a year ago. And so I had my kids, I got out, I used some of this Arteza paint and I had, and like some of it's, it's really, really fun. Like it has glitter, um, where's the color I use? Oh, look, see, it has big chunky glitter. So it's really fun for the kids to paint on top of a pour. It's very transparent. So you can see this one um, doesn't have any necessary color to it other than the glitter. And then there was some blue and some pink with the big chunky glitter. And then I used a stencil and the black to make a really fun Halloween um, painting with my kids, for my kids. And we did a little brown owl because my, we have a brown owl that nests in our yard. And my kids love it. So I didn't want to do um, a silhouette. We wanted to use those colors. But this was all this Arteza. I mean, look at this color. So if you have kids who are wanting to paint when you paint, or if you're doing some um, you know, classes and you want to find a way to incorporate some things for kids or add to, um, this is really, really great for that. And like I said, tempera paint reactivates with water, so it's completely washable, so it's great for kids. It's totally non-toxic. Um, so it's a great option. Like I said, you're not going to pour with it, but you can definitely, if you have kids, pour and then have them play um, while you're painting. gives them something to do. And this comes in 32 colors also. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 colors that are glitter. And my gosh, that just makes my day. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> so my kids were super, super excited. And I think we'll probably do some more of these, especially for holidays. Um, I'll probably have them, let them do one for their room. Um, they can decide if they want me to do a pour under it or if they just want a white canvas and I can give them some paint brushes and let them play. Not worry about the mess, not worry about um, them getting into anything that they shouldn't be getting into. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. 
um, real quick. Okay. Now, on to the pouring. Um, so these are the colors I picked today, and I gotta show you this one. Isn't this gorgeous? This is metallic wine red. And then I have forest green. I haven't taken the tops off of these. I've been very patient. Let's see if I can get that beeping to stop. Boop. Okay. So I haven't taken the tops off, the foil tops off of these yet to, to really look, but I'm really excited. Um, and I think because I'm not putting any silicone in it or any added water, I think I'm going to do like a swirl. Okay, so um, I can't find my favorite um, swirl cup, but that's okay. And <clears throat> I did shake all of these because it said to shake on the box. And I um, took all the little silver, the line, uh, do, 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 the, um, oh my goodness gracious, you know what I mean, the little tops that seal them. There we go, the sealing things off of these. Okay, so I'm just going to use a regular old um, cup for this and then I'm going to um my background will be white so I'll save that and let's see um first in when you're doing a swirl first I'm telling this to myself not necessarily you guys because I get to talking and then I can't remember maybe I should do a bottle bottom pour um anyway yes I get totally distracted um <clears throat> excuse me first in last out, last in, first out. So if you want a color in the center, it needs to go in first. And I think I want um, some of this teal in the center. We'll see what this consistency is like. Oh my, and there it's squirting out. Actually, it looks like a nice consistency. I'm gonna pour some of this on a stick here real quick as I pour this in here, oops. All right, I'm going to pour some of this on a stick here while I'm pouring it in here. And I'm going to do kind of my custard test. It seems a little bit runnier than what I normally use, and that's probably perfect for a lot of you because I know I use a thicker mix um, than some people. Now, since there's no silicone, probably still won't get cells, but... um. Yeah, that's definitely thinner than what I normally use, but that's fine. Um, some of these have a little tab thingy that got stuck over the silver. But um, I'm going to do the this one. But uh, anyway, if I can talk and do this at the same time. Um, it's a beautiful consistency. But like I said, just a bit thinner than what I normally use. And that's... That's going to be perfect, probably. And I'm I'm kind of thrilled that if I do add some silicone, I don't think I'm going to at all have to add water to it. Just a little silicone. So definitely subscribe if you want to um, see some videos with this with silicone in it. I know, especially if you're going to be spending some money on something new that you haven't used. Um watching how it works is always a plus I think anyway in my book okay so there's all the colors and that used maybe about half of each bottle something like that okay make sure this is in view and then I'm gonna cover this canvas with white I do love that they added four bottles of white. Okay. Spread that around. Maybe eventually, if we have enough people request it, they'll do some bigger bottles. I am so happy with this consistency. I tried brand is it real quick let me find it I tried um color pour pre-mixed color paint and I was not happy with it I had to add water and it still cracked and um 
it was just, I just, I didn't care for it. Uh, I, even when I added a little water, I added Floetrol to it and I just couldn't get it to work right for me. Um, which I thought was a bummer because, you know, having some of these pre-mixed paints, is not the most economical thing in the world, but, um, as far as pouring goes, but it is nice to have around, especially, um, on days where you want to do just a quick pour it's nice to see what the consistency is supposed to be if you're new to pouring um, and you're not getting results you like to kind of have that because it's hard to see on camera what um, the consistency of so that's that's kind of nice and to get one that's especially says it's pre-mixed for pouring um, right out of the bottle and it doesn't work very well it was kind of a bummer but this looks like a beautiful consistency so let's see here and I know there are some people who can't um, mix paint for one reason or another, or their hands um, aren't able to do the stirring required. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Oh yeah, this is really lovely. I have to say, I went into this with kind of low expectations um, for premixed and not doing anything to it. But I am very pleasantly surprised so far. I'm kind of going to slowly, because look at those lines. Oh, that's why I love swirls. Super, super pretty. Getting a hair bit of ghosting, um, or blending, I call it ghosting, but in a really pretty way. Now, I don't think these say anywhere on them that if they're transparent or semi-transparent, their um, artist acrylics do. But I didn't see anywhere where these said. I don't want to lose these lines. So what I think I'm going to do um, I almost like I don't usually like quite a harsh line but I kind of like that. The only part I'm not super thrilled with is this middle. Um, if I'm going to stop here. Alright, since um, this sea green kind of um, hit itself a little bit. I think I'm going to do like a little mini. Oops, I forgot. This one has one of those little white liners that got stuck there and I don't want to get my hands filthy with paint. Um, so I think I'm going to do like a mini center pour. I used all that white, didn't I? It's a little bit. And maybe some of this dark red. I hope I don't ruin this. In my head, it sounds really pretty. <laughs> what happens on the canvas? Kind of like what happens in your head stays in your head when it comes to pouring. Right? <laughs> Sometimes how it works. What happens in your head just stays there. And the paint does exactly what it wants to do. Let's do a traveling ring pour. Kind of off the edge. There we go. Kind of incorporate it into the pour. There we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I like the way that looks. I'm just going to um, I'm going to blur those lines just a teeny tiny bit. Ooh, look! Can you see this? Is this showing right here? This little 
pretty little thing. Gosh, that's pretty. Okay, sorry. I get I get distracted. <laughs> okay, so I want to blur these. I'm going to try something I've never tried before just because I have these sitting here. Let's see if I can just... Make these lines just soften it. Not necessarily right here because I kind of like that. We'll see though how this works. I don't really. Okay, I'm going to use a straw. I didn't really want to use a straw because I don't really want to blow the paint um, to, a, to create like a new pattern. All right, I'm just going to gently. Very, very gently. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep going just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, I like that. I'm really, I like the way that did that. I'm tempted to do that the rest of the way. Cause I like that flowery look. I'm going to, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go with my gut. Air. Okay. I really like how that did that. It kept the striations a little bit, but, um, Let's bring back back to center. Kept the striations a little bit, but softened it. So I'm going to do some close-ups. And you can see that ghosting there where it blends a little bit, but it's not like um, bleeding and causing mud. It's just, I, I don't know, I call it ghosting. But that's just, that's just my terminology. Oh, those stripes are so pretty. I, I gotta say, I really did. I had some low expectations. I wasn't sure what to think. I thought, yeah, I, it really took a lot for me to go in and do this pour <laughs> without um, messing with the paint. Cause I just, you know, I, I just, I always mix my paint before I pour. And even with that other pouring paint, I did need to do that. And <clears throat> Obviously, if cells are your main goal, um, you are going to have to fiddle with it. And like I said, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications if you want to see um, this paint with silicone. Because my next pour with it, I will add some silicone for those of you who want to see um, some cells. But if you're if you're more into um, swirls or different types of pours where there's more of a blending look or line look than cells... This is a great, great uh, paint right out of the bottle. And if you just want to see how the how thick or thin you should mix your your paints, this is really awesome. i'm I'm super excited about it. So make sure you check the description bar. I will have a link and a coupon code for you for Arteza so you can get um, a little discount um, when you purchase it. So be sure to check that out. We'll see you next time, guys. Um, let me know what you think of this of this paint or if you've tried it um let me know if you've tried other paints that were pre-mixed i'd love to hear what you thought of them because um this is the second one i've tried and i'm really happy with it whereas the other one was kind of a big thumbs down so i will definitely show a picture of this dry though because my other pre-mixed um paint cracked so uh, stay tuned and there will be a picture of the dried finished product we'll see you next time guys happy pouring